Hi guys, my name is Nick and I'm in part of Group F with Hillary and Katie and our company is Apple Incorporated. Apple was founded in 1976 in Cupertino, California with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Um, the Apple CEO currently is Tim Cook. He's 51 years old and he took over as the CEO of, of Apple. Um, they are a Fortune 500 company and their rank is number three. Um, with $265.5 billion in revenue in fiscal revenue in 2018. Now, I'm going to be going over organizational culture in Chapter 16. Um, it is a very important aspect of the business, and in my personal opinion, it is basically where the founders set the tone for the type of business that they're going to be. Um, the founders are the ones that are going to basically have their vision and put it towards the company which is basically their views their morals and what they intend the company is going to be um, now they are a competitive company they have they compete with Sony Samsung HP and a bunch of other tech companies that are in um, this industry and but they have a really specific organizational culture and they really strive for innovation and they also really strive for collaboration um, and they look for key characteristics key characteristics for their employees um, and they want the they want to have that high level of innovation that involves a creativity type of mindset um, and with these types of standards that's why they have their type of, of products that they have today um, with people being peer-reviewed on peer edited with their work um, this goes without saying with um, new updates, new products, and so every every idea is basically going to be peer edited and peer reviewed and see if there's anything they can add to the product. Um, and so, but their main their top five characteristics is that they uh, they want to have top notch excellence, um, creativity, innovation, secrecy, and moderate collaborate uh, combativeness. Um, and the secrecy is actually one of the main reasons why they're actually so successful. Every year, maybe around September, October, we actually have no idea what they're, they've been working on the past year, and that's because their employees have been sworn to secrecy. Everything that they do um, is for the good of the company, and it's basically kind of like Fight Club. Um, if you work for Apple, you, the first rule about Apple is that you don't talk about Apple, and that is basically how it's going to be going um, for this company. And it's part of the reason why they're highly successful. Um, they don't want anyone to uh, divulge any of the information for their company of what they've been doing. And so it's a very key characteristic that they want um, for people in order that the company stays successful. Um, there is also another um, part of the characteristics that I found was uh, really awesome was that they want to have that combativeness com combativeness excuse me it is basically they want to have that collaboration with people to have the cohesiveness to be able to create new products and to be able to uh, strive as a company altogether um, it's a small price that they have to pay for individuals who are not um, used to working on teams but it is very good for the company as a whole uh, for everyone to come together and work together Now, creating a culture, that is a, tr that's a tr uh, tricky uh, task at hand as well. Um, so the company culture has to, again, come from the founders and they have to set the tone. The leaders have to be able to come in and know what they, their values are. Um, an employee is not going to know how to act accordingly or with the values of the company if the company does not know what they are. Um, and so Apple again, has a for sure fire process of making sure that they have the best um, employees, they have a strategic way to hire people, and this way they know that they will get the best employees out of the bunch. Hello everyone, my name is Hillary Torrance, and today I will be addressing the HR policies and procedures in Chapter 17. I will be focused on the strategic recruitment steps for the company Apple. Apple has a four-step process to get hired. The first step is the Apple Online Application. 
This is the part where people who are applying for the company have to go because unfortunately Apple does not do paper applications. Part of the recruitment process is your first chance to get a good impression and stand out from your competition. The online form will ask you to provide details of your education and any academic results as well as your work history. Depending upon the business area you apply to, you may be asked some more motivational questions. If applicants are fortunate enough to make it past the first step, they move on to the second step which consists of the Apple telephone interview. This is where candidates speak to someone who works for Apple directly. After passing the online tests, stage you will be invited to apple's office for your first round of interviews this is a chance where you get to demonstrate your passion and skills that would make you suitable for the job however this is not the final step the third step is apple's assessment center this is the portion where candidates receive more in-depth questions and candidates role play about situations that they are given after this step Congratulations, you've reached the final stage of Apple's recruitment. This stage will consist of a one-on-one -on -one interview with a director or a senior manager for the business area you wish to join. This will be the final chance for you to demonstrate your passion and skills and essentials for working for Apple. Up next is Katie who will be letting you know about how organizational handle stress management. Hi guys, I'm Katie and I am with Group F. Today I will be talking about how does Apple Incorporated handle stress management in their workforce. One major reason for Apple's success is that it is constantly changing the business plan and managing stress strategically. Steve Jobs studied the market and tried to follow the pulse of the audience. Apple originally started as just another computer company, but it expanded with the needs of the consumer as well as hired A-level people to work for them. Like in any company, deadlines and trying to deal with the customer's needs can create stress and need to change at different levels of the organization. How Apple addresses them is key to their success. For example, during this pandemic, Tim Cook, the CEO, called this time a stressful moment, but it reassured employees that Apple's strong financial position will continue to assist employees with paying them until the stores reopen. As far as competition, Apple's competitive advantage is the control of software, hardware, retail strategy, product design with strategic decision making. Some of the social trends are the need of mobile access, the increase in dependence on digital systems. Those are opportunities for Apple, but the international anti-Apple sentiments are a threat. The social opposition against the business operations can reduce the brand image, and as a response, Apple is working on building confidence on their products. Social responsibility issues need to be addressed if Apple is to satisfy their, cons their consumer and their stockholders. Apple's corporate culture influences the quality of services provided to customers and how they manage stress and change. World politics also create instability in the company. For example, bureaucracy, corruption, the trade disputes in China can compromise the integrity of the company. How do they manage these factors? One of the key elements is communication. Apple's success in dealing with work stressors is creating a team environment. They believe in seven important factors. Number one, a person, one person is in charge. Project teams at Apple must meet once a week. Teamwork starts at the top of the organization and trickles down. Trust is key. Have wonderful, wonderful arguments. Let people make decisions. Work towards one goal. The fifth point, wonderful arguments, are encouraged. But the best ideas always wins shows the think different mentality that characterizes Apple's success. 
Some of the most common reasons for employee turnover at, at Apple are the micromanagement, dealing with angry customers, no room for advancement, while other employees think that Apple provides great incentives for great performance and an exciting workplace with great benefits. The company is also trying to improve their cultural diversification efforts, and as between July 20, 2016 and 2017, half of the people hired at Apple were from multicultural backgrounds. Some of the stress factors are when we see employees that feel fear and anxiety due to changes, symptoms can vary from physiological to psychological. Fatigue, illness, eating habits, depression, behavioral changes, addiction, missing work. Apple has invested in their employees' health and well-being. They reward and support their employees with ways to deal with the many life stressors. Steve Jobs practice meditation regularly, therefore Apple employees can take 30 minutes every work to quietly meditate at work. Among some of the perks at Apple, employees receive discounts to buy products. Mothers or mothers-to-be receive four weeks of paid leave time before the birth of their child and also 14, after, 14 weeks after. Employees can attend private concerts and special events. Also, Apple provides their employees $300 towards a gym membership annually. On top of that, employees, even new employees, get 12 days of paid time off and this benefit grows over time. By doing this and supporting their employees, Apple shows that their mentality to support women who delay having kids for medical reasons or those who have uncertainties about their kids, having kids or having a career, is not a main focus. This way, they can focus on what is good for their lives and not for the company only. Apple believes that work and family life are equally important and they would like to help reduce the level of stress accompanied with those important work-life balance issues for women and men in the workplace. Thank you. We believe uh, Apple is a great company to work for. According to the research that we've done, um, it is actually one of the best companies that I can basically say that it would be awesome to work for. Um, we gave it a rating out of 9 out of 10 because nobody's perfect. There's other ways to um, improvise and to basically improve the company as a whole. Um, what we loved about the company was that how, di how, how diverse it was and how cohesive it was. Um, that diversity of everyone coming together in different backgrounds is awesome. And to have different insight on different things is uh, one way for the company to succeed. Um, now, the reasons we thought the company was great to work for was because of their levels of organization that they have, um, the diversity in and individual cultural differences, um, and that they are just a company that has happy employees. Um, that's what really should be the foundation for every company is to have a good um, repertoire with their employees, um, and happy employees means that everything that they do is going to be successful. Happy employees means happy customers, um, and your employees are the people that you should be taking care of first. Thank you guys. Have, you guys have a great summer.